Okay, you want to learn how to make in splash photo slideshow like the one you're watching right now? And stay with me, I'll show you how. And in this video, I have a gift for you. I have a giveaway for those who will watch this video to the end. Because somewhere within the video, I will show you how to download the raw files to this tutorial. And you have my permission to use this as you wish. That's my gift to you. So let's get started. If you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. So let's start by importing all our images to the media. Drag the images to the timeline and crop them one after the other. Add another track to the timeline. Then highlight the images and copy them to another track by pasting them. Hide the images on track 2 by clicking this icon. Click on the first image and go to animation and click on customize. Add a blank keyframe and move the playhead to the end of the image and change the scale to 120%. Do the same to the rest of the images one after the other. Review the images on track 2 on the timeline by clicking this icon. Click on the first image and go to transform. Change the scale to 70%. Go to effects and add border to the image. Change the scale of the border to 4 and then add shadow to it. Right click on the image and click on copy effects. Then highlight the other images and paste effects. So now we have successfully applied the same effect to all the images. Let's preview it and see what we have. All right, it's time for animation. Click on the first image and click on animation at the top. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the image. Change the rotate to minus 20 and scale to 80%. Drag the image out of the frame or screen upward. Move the playhead forward 5 frames, then change the rotate to minus 17 and the scale to 89%. Drag back the image to the screen halfway the middle. Then move the playhead forward and change the rotate to minus 5. Restore the position by clicking on this round out. Finally, move the playhead to the end of the image and change the scale to 95%. Let's preview it and see what we have so far. So follow the same procedures to animate the rest of the images. You can change the angles if you wish, but basically that's all there is to it.
all right i do promise you of how to show you how you can download the raw file to this tutorial so here's what to do copy the number on the screen i'll leave the link in the description you can go ahead and download it but without this number you cannot open the file so make sure you grab this number go back to media and drag down the green screen ink splash to the track on the timeline detach the audio if you don't need it and delete it click on the green screen ink and click on this icon to remove the green screen just click on the eyedropper beside the green screen and click on the green screen on the screen and the green will be removed cut out the parts you don't need you can add music and sound effects if you wish well congratulations you just made an awesome photo slideshow remember you can always watch it again if you don't get it the first time you can also slow it down if it is too fast for you i actually don't want the tutorial to be too long or boring all right before we go guess what some of you have been asking for behind the scene just i just recorded the behind the scene of this tutorial but i have not edited it yet if i got 1000 likes on this video i will go ahead and edit it so make sure you click the like button and if you're new here don't forget to smash the subscribe button and leave a comment below i'll see you in the next video Thank you.